guys, my name is Brandon, welcome back to 100% Chelsea. I'm doing today's transfer video as it is Lawrence's birthday and everyone else is busy. I hope you guys are enjoying having me on 100% Chelsea. If you are, please make sure you leave your comments down in the comment section below. And also check out my channel at the top of the description. I've had so much support from you guys already, it means a lot to me, so thank you very much. I can't wait to continue to make some more content for you. We're going to jump straight into the video today, starting off with our third signing of the transfer window, Timo Bakayoko. Yes, we have finally, finally announced Bakayoko has signed for Chelsea. He has signed from Monaco for a £40 million fee. The French midfielder has been at Cobham for the past two days and there has been some complications with the player's medical and reports of Monaco blocking a bid. Well, that has now been put to bed as Chelsea have confirmed the signing of Bakayoko. The French midfielder is at Cobham today, overwatching the friendly against Fulham, and he should be integrated into the squad and going on tour with them on Tuesday. Moving on to our next story is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The rumours that we were supposed to be offered Aubameyang have now been confirmed that they are false. Yes, apparently rumours came through the other day, which myself involved believed, that Chelsea were offered Aubameyang for £65 million. Chelsea are apparently still interested. AC Milan and Liverpool are also in the running to try and sign Aubameyang. Richard Dortmund have given the striker a deadline to try and sort out his future before then so they can focus on their pre-season and getting ready for the season ahead. We will update you with all of the transfer stories, especially Aubameyang's one, if and when they come to us. Next transfer story we've got for you is Danilo, the Brazilian right-back from Real Madrid is apparently wanting to join Chelsea, despite Chelsea's bid being rejected. Chelsea offered a £28 million bid, and Real Madrid are trying to hold out for £30.8 million. Seems stingy from us that we don't want to pay that extra £2.8 million, despite Danilo stating that he would like to move to Chelsea to try and revive his career. In my opinion, I think we should just offer them the extra £2.8 million, so we do sign Danilo. It provides healthy competition for Victor Moses, and you don't really want Azpilicueta out wide when he was probably one of our best centre-backs, if not the best centre-back last season. Moving on to our next story, and it is also some pre-season tour, tour news. As you may have seen already, the pre-season tour squad has been released by Chelsea. The big notable absences are that Nemanja Matic and Diego Costa have been left out of the squad. Rumours are that Diego Costa is finalising a deal with Atletico and will sit on the sidelines at Chelsea unless he finds a loan move until January. Nemanja Matic has also been told that he can leave Chelsea with both Arsenal and Juventus interested. Arsenal have reportedly approached Chelsea over a straight swap deal between Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Nemanja Matic. As a Chelsea fan, would you take Oxlade-Chamberlain in Chelsea's midfield? Juventus, the other team interested have rejected Chelsea's approach of using Matic as a make weight deal for Alexandro. Yes, Chelsea were apparently about to offer Nemanja Matic plus some money for Alexandro, but Juventus are standing strong and saying they do not want to sell the Brazilian left back. That's as much news as we have on the Sandro transfer, I'm afraid, and we will keep you updated if we hear any more about it. A final transfer of today is Gonzalo Higuain. Apparently, Chelsea overnight have offered 100 million euros for the Argentinian striker. The 29-year-old has been on Chelsea's radar for some time, according to reports, and they could go back in with another bid. We don't know if that's an official bid or it's just rumours. As I said, I heard it this morning when I woke up and I thought, we don't really need Higuain, especially as he's not in the best physical form of his life as well. We could spend the 100 million euros on someone much younger, much better, got much more potential as well. Those are today's transfer rumours, guys. Let me know what you think of those down in the comment section below. My personal thoughts, I'd love to get Alexandro. I'd love that deal to be over the line. I'd love Danilo to be over the line as well. Provides some competition for our wing-backs. Also strengthens our defence as well. We need at least one striker. I'm saying we need two because uh, we've got Remy, Costa and Batshuayi. Batshuayi is the only striker I'd prefer to keep. Um, seeing as Costa's already leaving, I would have loved to kept Costa. But seeing as he's already leaving, I think we need another two strikers. And I think we also need another centre mid. The dream is obviously Raja Nyangolan or Marco Verratti, but I'm hearing that Nyangolan has recently, or is about to, renew his contract with AS Roma. Uh, Verratti has also come out and said that he's happy at PSG after apparently being unhappy at PSG. So, the two best and strongest of our options are no longer there. I'd also say maybe try and go in for Renato Sanchez, who is apparently leaving Bayern Munich. But yet again, AC Milan have snapped, or are about to snap him up, on a loan deal. 
AC Milan seem to be buying everyone at the moment, which is doing my nut in because they're trying to get our transfer targets as well. Leave your thoughts and tell me who you want to sign in the comments below as well. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, check out 100% Chelsea on all social media links down in the description. Stay up to date with the tour information as well, we have our first official pre-season game next week against Arsenal, so make sure you follow 100% Chelsea on all social media to keep up to date with the squad. I hope you're having a great day guys, continue to have a great day and I will see you all next time. Peace!